I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Welcome back to Writing on the Wall. Today's episode is Life's Little Ironies. Now before I begin, I noticed that on the internet there was a critique of one of these videos that a fellow said, I can't stand him reading off to the left or whatever I was doing. Well, I usually have an easel there that I'm looking at from my notes. Today I have this clipboard. When I speak for, uh, for clients and I walk out on stage for a good billion dollars, they're not paying me to memorize. And this is a free video, so you'll have to bear with it. Now, life's little ironies. Contemporary small minds on school boards remove giants' names like Lincoln from the schools. Small minds remove great names. CVS, life's little ironies, removes tobacco, but not high caloric, high sugar, food, and drinks. Brown University has resisted returning some land on which it has buildings to Native American groups here. Or for that matter, as you know from past videos, even changing its name from that of the huge slaveholder in the history of the Republic. Yet, they'll call a Christmas tree a holiday tree, uh, and they'll call Columbus Day Indigenous Peoples Days. And I, we just had Mother's Day yesterday, and I'm sure that's going to be birthing Humans Day. Who knows what's next from these people? Our traffic laws are barely enforced, and there's a one in 200 chance of being killed in a traffic accident when you take to the roads. But we demanded the J&J &J vaccine be halted because there was a one in a million chance of a blood clot forming, which could or could not be fatal. Life's little ironies. From the time I was young, the greatest diversity I've ever witnessed, without quotas, without demands, without law, was at Major League Baseball parks. With J.P. Morgan behind it, and a lot of movers and shakers, the European Soccer Super League was dead on arrival. You sure you want your money with these people? You sure you want J.P. Morgan investing your money? Instead of appealing to younger demographics, instead of going into the scooter business, for example, which is ubiquitous on city streets, Harley Davidson is now building trikes three-wheeled motorcycles, which true bikers used to laugh at because their demographic has gotten so old and so obese they can't straddle a bike anymore. You can't even read their tattoos anymore because if you get what I mean, they're too spread out. These people are as old or older than I am. Go for a new demographic. Because you don't have sufficient popularity of majorities, the Democrats now are trying to add states. They're trying to make Washington, D.C. a state, and they're trying to pack the court with more justices to get some more progressive justices on there. When I was young, that's what we called, play the game my way or I'll take my ball and go home. In other words, we won't be satisfied until everybody's a Democrat. This is sort of what, you know, it's like political genocide. In uh, medical offices, they use your first name only. And I said to a woman, why would you call me Alan? She said, because of privacy laws. This is HIPAA, and we can't use your last name. Yet when you walk up to the desk to give the money, patients' files are along their desk with names on it. Life's little ironies. To achieve emissions goals by 2050, which is President Biden's stated goal, not only would every car sold from this taping today onward have to be electric, but we'd have to remove cars that are not electric to reach that goal. Who's going to pay for that? Who's going to grab these cars and take them away? How is it that institutions of higher learning can consistently prohibit free speech and consistently prohibit due process? That's lower learning to me, or perhaps no learning. How can you complain about CEO pay when Congress people can stay in office forever? when it's not unusual for a senator to be in office for 30 years. And with rare exception, all of these people are wealthy. They're not playing with their own money. It's not their skin in the game. 
Shaming people in public, I am convinced, is a form of mental illness. You're crazy to try it, and you're crazy to do it. And finally, you know the thing about dogs and their unconditional love? You know that, right? Don't you think it's about time we tried to live up to it?